All right, here's my baby sales pitch. Um, HVK does make equipment. Um, I'm going to show some examples. We used our um, E-Drive power analyzer where we measured voltages and currents at, at a sufficient bandwidth. We stored the data. We did some analysis. Um, and we do have sensors that offer the high bandwidths as well. If you want to talk about that, please catch me offline. I don't want to belabor that. Um, but in our in our software, we can do things like a simple FFT. You know, I showed an example of this earlier, but it is a really powerful tool. And we do show this live in the software. So if you're measuring a voltage and a current, you know, you can look at, all right, what is my fundamental? What are my harmonics in, you know, fifth, seventh, eleventh, thirteenth? Um, and then what are my switching effects? And we can really see the full spectrum out to the bandwidth of the amplifier. So we can get a good understanding and kind of a gut feel on what's happening in the frequency domain. Um, start to line up things like torque. You know, it's, it's a quick snapshot. It's calculated over a window. Um, but it, it's a good way to understand what you're doing. I personally don't get the most information out of this more than just a quick health check on what's happening in the machine. Do I have noise? So it's a powerful tool, but I think there's things we can get more information out of. So I mentioned fundamental based harmonics. Um, this one I think is, is really powerful uh, for doing analysis and it's, it's actually dictated by, by a lot of um, aerospace standards where you want to identify what is the frequency of the sine wave. So we have, we have a sine wave. In this instance, I have a current uh, in red and in our hardware, we actually track the frequency with, with some cool digital algorithms. And I get a square wave that's kind of my half cycle. So every half cycle, you want to do an analysis. So we take that frequency, and then we do our FFT, and we do our harmonic analysis based every half cycle. This allows us to understand, you know, what are my, what are my, my harmonics that are a function of that fundamental frequency? The FFT, I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at things that are not included in my fundamental. I'm looking at weird asynchronous events. Now on the fundamental basis, we're just looking at that third harmonic, that fifth harmonic, that seventh harmonic. So this is a really cool tool to really do an order analysis for those of you who are familiar with that. And um, our, our measurement system is kind of special that we can do this very quickly. Again, we can talk offline, but we're doing those calculations on this square wave basis. This is our frequency. And then we can take things like a number of sine waves. We can bunch them together and we can give you a chart that is outputting what is my fundamental, you know, my second, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth. Break it down to what is the amplitude of those orders of the fundamental? What are those harmonics? We can give you a percentage and, and what the frequency they're occurring at is. So this is a really cool way to kind of understand the spectrum of your signal and get it in a really nice bin graph where we eliminate all those non order based harmonics where we eliminate all that other frequency content that's not from our sine wave. We're just looking at those harmonics of the fundamental. So this is a really powerful tool for starting to understand, you know, what is my presence of third? What is my presence of fifth? What is my presence of seventh? And then make decisions if they're good, if they're bad, understand if you're in implementing uh, mitigation techniques, if it's being effective. And I, I think this is my last slide, um, but this is my favorite. <laughs> Um, one of the cool things we can do as well, we take that cycle based information, we use that frequency, and then we can calculate what is the RMS of our, you know, fifth harmonic current? What is the RMS of our fifth harmonic voltage? And then even better, we can say, what's the phasing between these two? And if we, you know, if anybody remembers their, their kind of power equations, we have VRMS times IRMS times the cosine of phase. Well, if I have VRMS of the fifth, I have IRMS of the fifth, and I have the phase of the fifth, I can calculate, you know, fifth harmonic power. And again, we we have a graph here where this is a screenshot from our software where we can see that fifth harmonic voltage creeps up per given operation. We can see that fifth harmonic phase changes as we creep up. We can see our fifth harmonic current creeps up during this, this given operation. We can see our phase stays pretty consistent. And then we can see that we have, a, you know, 10 watts of power or so that show up in our fifth harmonic for this given machine. Um, and you can start to decide, you know, is this injection causing a lot of loss? Is this unintentional harmonic causing a lot of loss? 
And we can do this for all of our harmonics. And I think this is really powerful for starting to understand where losses go in our machine. Um, and this is something we can display live. Um, this is something that you can do post-process, but you know, with our system, we store the data and we give you an easy way of doing these calculations.